Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, the likes or not. I am Pump Squatch Hello, and this is something a little bit different. The Titanfall 2 pre alpha tech test was recently launched this weekend, and it is done as of now. As of the, well, uploading this video, it ended on Sunday night prior to this. So if you missed it, the pre alpha tech test that launched on Saturday, August 20th, do not worry, there will be another one that's going to be coming up the following weekend very soon so you could go in and jump right into that if you missed it but this video is going to be mainly composing of or comprising of me giving my thoughts to the game some of the little tutorial that they have which is a really good tutorial but they did miss a few things that I would like to touch on or rather at least one big thing that seems rather important to go over uh, so aside from that we're gonna go ahead and just give it a try and you're gonna see what I just went through and I'm just gonna highlight some key points um, alright, so the first major thing is that the environment is really just amazing. It is a very beautiful looking game. The original Titanfall was not bad looking either, it just seems like a slight upgrade. Honestly, I haven't played the original Titanfall in a very long time, so I did not recognize any noticeable difference on just logging into the game. But it seems like a very friendly tutorial as you can see, just telling you how to do things, what to do things. And already I'm figuring out the whole sliding thing because it's very basic. If you've played the original Titanfall, then it's going to be very familiar to you. I know saying this, it's going to sound really weird, and like of course it's the of course it's gonna be like the original Titanfall. All it is is a sequel. Well, I say this because it's different yet the exact same. If that makes sense, awesome. If it doesn't, then I'm gonna hope to try and clarify that by the end of this video. So, the wall running is just the same, it's just like that. If you haven't played Titanfall, just imagine Black Ops 3. Only, not so much of the whole camping thing. Well, maybe. I'll get into that a little bit later. Anyways, as you can see, I'm just going through the tutorial, getting the basic movements down, and the movements are all very fluent. It's all just very natural feeling, as if it's going from one motion to the other without a second of delay. Just very natural, very fluent. So you can see here we're going through, and you're going to notice about the scenery how it's just really well made. It is beautifully done. Honestly, Bethesda did a really beautiful job with this game. Just the way it looks and how all the lights just reflect off everything. It is a very nice looking game. As you saw earlier with the water, the effects that it had, it was going down a stream and then it just kind of went up the wall at an angle. Now, I know that doesn't seem all too great, but yeah, it was just very nice. So here we are at the shooting range and... There are a good number of guns. You have the sniper rifle, the light machine gun, the assault rifle, and the submachine gun as well. However, you do have the pistol. Now, the guns are mainly the same as within the original Titanfall. The biggest notable difference will of course be the sights when you first pick up the gun. As you can tell here, it is just like a regular pistol you would find from the original Titanfall. However, the sight is clearly different. That is the biggest and most obvious difference. Also, looking through the settings and everything, I really do have to say the menu is really well done. It's really well made. Looking back, I can see that the, uh, I believe it was called uh, Precise Fire or something like that. I'll point it out when I see it again, hopefully. But it seems like a very interesting way to do the whole uh, sensitivity thing. It's not really 1 through 12 or 1 through 18. Instead, it's just... Oh, wait. Fine Aim. There we go. That's the name of it. Fine Aim. Uh, honestly, Fine Aim seems like it will become one of those settings that will without a doubt be very useful to pretty much anyone who, no matter how lightly they feel like they're, touch they're moving the right analog stick, they're moving all over the map and just having trouble aiming precisely. I'm very guilty of this, and I feel like in the future this may be one of the features that I'm going to make use of very much so. And as a result, I don't know if many other pro players, or just many other players for that matter, will make that choice as well. If they do, then it's a preferred preference of theirs. If they don't, then they have a different preference, which is just fine. 
So here I am just giving all the settings a little look over, looking at the guns and just feeling how the sensitivity works. It's not working for me, so I'm going to change it. So yes, there we go. I'm just changing the sensitivity. I do have to say that the menu, when you press the menu button, it is very accessible. It is very, it looks nice. Even in just the start menu or the menu button as it's called now. It does look nice, looks very friendly, like user friendly. Just go to the little tab you want and go to the little sub tab that you're looking into. So as I'm doing this, I'm looking them over. Just giving it a small look over of what I want to choose and I just make a selection. At some point I'm just going to select default and move on from there. <clears throat> Uh, sad to say, this whole time I'm not realizing that I've been messing with my uh, aim down sight sensitivity. Speed is paramount, but you must also hit the targets. The gauntlet is where we practice those skills. Just waiting for him to move along. Remember, you move faster when you're wall running. Give it a try. It's been a while since I played the last Titanfall, if you can tell. <laughs> <coughs> the melees are really satisfying to get kills with. That, I must say, is really true. In the original Titanfall, it would just be just a single kick that would take a second or two to happen. And that was balanced. But, it's not as satisfying as getting a kill with one of them right now, with a melee now in this game. What I do like is that you're able to recover from falling down really easily as well, which is good. It's overall very fun. Now, here I don't get a very good time, I get like one... Oh, right here. Yep. <laughs> 123. Okay, fair enough. See the results board on the wall? Time. Everyone has different strengths and weaknesses, so be sure to run this a few times with different weapons. Look at the results board for more tips on how to improve. Now that you're warmed up, you want a real challenge. You can race against other pilot ghosts. Word of warning, though, pilots in the court of these ghosts are the best in the SRS. If you can beat them, you'll be on your way to being a real pilot. Go ahead and run the gauntlet as much as you want. When you're done, I've got something special to show you. Alright, so me being the competitive fool I am, I do try to run the gauntlet again. Yep, I just think, you know what, I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to try for the first spot, and obviously that's not going to happen with what you saw earlier. <laughs> nope, not in any way, shape, or form. So I do try, I try it again. Got a bit of a better feel for the course. My aim still sucks, but I still... Try it. I'm getting through it. There we go. Looking for that ghost guy, because I think at this point I think I'm supposed to be following him still. But that's not the case. See, like that was a very satisfying melee kill to get. At some point in my many tries of attempting this, I did get a melee kill where I basically was jumping and just stomped on the guy. So after a few tries, I believe I get like fourth best time in the thing, which may not be impressive, but hey, I tried. And even then I had to basically go without killing anyone. I'm ready to so then with that, next. after you get through the whole thing, you talk to him, he lets you know, okay, you ready to go back? Say yep. And what happens is that well, basically, they take you back to the main screen where you could go into multiplayer. There's a little video right here, and we're just going to let it play from the developers. Greetings, Xbox One pilots, and welcome to the world of Titanfall 2. Thank you for joining our multiplayer tech test. 
Asking everyone to help us stress test an early build of Titanfall 2 and our brand new networking back end to find all the issues before we launch on October 28th. We're all really excited to hear your feedback. This is only an early look at Titanfall 2 and includes only a small portion of the content that you will enjoy in the final release. Make sure you head to our forums at titanfall.com to let us know what you think and thank you for your participation and support. For starters, we're giving you a look at two maps. Welcome to the dense urban streets of Boomtown and the open fields of Homestead. Each poses unique opportunities and challenges for both pilot and Titan gameplay. Today, we're giving you a peek at one of the brand new modes in Titanfall 2, Bounty Hunt. In this mode, you and your teammates are tasked with clearing the remnant field ground units through three waves, earning a bonus for every kill you obtain. Between each wave, make sure and bank your bonus points to increase your team's score. At the end of each wave, the remnant fleet will unleash a bounty titan. Once on the field, you must defeat the marked bounty to earn a massive bonus. If you need a break from Bounty Hunt, we've also included a classic 8v8 mode, Pilots vs. Pilots, in order to put your pilot mobility and combat skills to the ultimate test. As a pilot, you are the Apex Predator, and your arsenal has been greatly expanded. New weapons include the L-Star, a rapid-fire energy assault rifle, and new abilities like the grappling hook take Titanfall's mobility to new heights. This is just a sample of what you'll have access to, and as you progress and level up, new weapons and abilities will unlock to further expand the gameplay opportunities. So make sure to customize your loadouts and see what works best for you. And of course, we're letting you try out some of the brand new Titans. In Titanfall 2, each Titan now has their own unique personality, signature style, and exclusive core ability that needs to be earned. Plus, a special weapon and set of skills that differ dramatically from the other Titans on the field. In this tech test, you'll get a chance to try out Scorch, a fire expert who controls battlefield positioning with his powerful thermite. And Ion, a power and energy specialist with the ultimate core power, her massive chest fired laser beam. Finally, we're also very excited for you to try out our new network system. Networks provide a friendly place to hang out between matches and truly elevate Titanfall 2's social game. You'll be placed in a default network to start, but you can join others that better suit your social or gameplay style. Or if nothing feels like the perfect fit, you can create your own network for you and your friends. Well, that covers everything you need to know. Now get out there and dominate the enemy team. But most importantly, have fun and make sure to check out everything Titanfall 2 has to offer when we launch on October 28th, including our brand new single player campaign. So there you have it. <clears throat> so yeah, that basically shows all the things that's going to be up for well just up for grabs and up for testing in the uh, in the uh, tech test and here I am when I'm jumping into a match of the uh, domination I'm just checking out the character and I'm looking through the whole tactical abilities and there are some really cool tactical abilities a lot of which I really just don't understand but it's still really cool I really do like the minor detail or the big details that they put into how the character changes when you change the tactical ability as well I know it's not something huge for most people but I appreciate that because they took the time and effort to make sure that the tactical ability made a physical aesthetic appearance and if you take a look down there next to the gun you can see that there is a number for the amount of bullets in the clip of the gun but no number for the amount of bullets that you have in reserve at all. So I'm wondering if it's going to be a thing where they have infinite ammo for the release of the game, or if it's just for the uh, test. I don't know what happened there, I mean, <laughs> maybe just a little glitch, but a little bit of something. Nothing major. But it is very interesting that they decided to do that, and I'm wondering if it's going to be a permanent feature of the final game, or if it's just going to be something that they're doing for the test for the test to make sure that all the 
uh, little bugs can be found as much as possible. So, here we are going through it, and not gonna lie, I am not good at domination at all. I'm just horrible at this game mode, and no matter what kind of game I play. But, <clears throat> we're getting through it, and it's very interesting because right here is a little bit of a sonar throwing knife. And you see it right there, it's just exactly what it is. It's a little tactical ability that is basically you throw the throwing knife and when it lands it sticks and a sonar comes out from it letting you know about all enemies in the vicinity which is a very cool ability. I thought that was really interesting. And what I found to be a very interesting choice is that they decided to put it to where not only is the tactical ability recharging over time but so are your grenades. I just threw one not too long ago and I'm back up to my normal two as of right now. Which I found to be very interesting. But we'll be back. So you see I really just lost that and like, oh okay, no big deal. And if that anti-titan weapon looks very familiar, it's because it is. It's nearly the exact same thing as the one from the original Titanfall. Except that the clip is well there. The original one didn't exactly have a number, I don't believe, but this one does. So I'm just waiting for the match to end, and I decided to go look at the Titans. And just by looking at them, they look absolutely amazing. Just take a look at this. You have Scorch and Ion. Very interesting designs, just very great designs indeed. Very unique, very well defined and made. Truly, you can tell a how much time and effort they put into making these titans. Now, I don't know about everybody else, but the titans in this game felt pretty much the same for me as they did in the last one. So it was eh, something that could be worked on, and I really didn't get to get any footage of inside the titan, but it was really cool. I know I did try to get gameplay of me using the grappling hook, but failed miserably. I believe this is be mainly because it's supposed to be used more how Batman uses his grappling hook where you attach it to a surface and use it to swing, instead of how Call of Duty Advanced Warfare did it where it was basically just a mine that took you to a direct point. Anyways, that's basically my thoughts on the game, on the beta and everything that I saw over the weekend. What do you think? What were your opinions and thoughts on the beta? Is there something that should stay in the game? Or do you think there's some things that should be taken out? Again, Titanfall is in the beta stage and they're always looking for some feedback so anyways thank you all very much for watching i do apologize for my voice i was a bit too self-conscious and i hope to sound better in the future and if you enjoy what i do here or enjoy anybody that i am currently associated with then feel free to leave a like let us know how we're doing and make sure that you go ahead and let us know what you think about the titanfall game that's coming up is it being on ps4 going to change your opinion on it or is it not going to change at all and are you going to not care? Perhaps get the game anyways. Anyways, feel free to let me know and I will definitely take a look through the comments anyways. Alright. Anyways, thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoy what we do, then feel free to leave a subscription to have notifications of future uploads brought straight to you instead of you having to come back to see more. Anyways, thank you all very much for watching. I do appreciate it very much not say that enough. Any help or support is appreciated. And as always, I am Pump Squatch. Goodbye. Well, ending that on a death, but I am Pump Squatch. Goodbye.